Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Lucas. And we are two aspiring filmmakers making unnecessary commentary on famous movies. Each week, we will randomly select a film to analyze, discuss, and review. We will select the film at the end of each podcast, so you will have ample time to watch the movie before the next episode. We are slightly qualified film Hello, students. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our special Oscars episode. Yeah, um, we're here watching it live. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to give our predictions and uh, live reactions to whoever wins here. We had our uh, part one about a month ago where we reacted to the nominations. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we've been prepping for this for a few months, watching as many films from uh, 2020 as possible. Okay, original screenplay is first. What's your prediction? Nominations. nominations are Judas and the Black Messiah, Minari, Promising Young Woman, Sound of Metal, and Child of Chicago 7. Um, What's your I'm prediction? predicting Promising Young Woman all the way because it's winning everything. So yeah. I think that's the easy one here. Um, yeah, I think runner-up would be Child of Chicago 7, though. Yeah. Uh, my prediction is also Promising Young Woman. It's honestly a really creative screenplay. Really solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, uh, Emerald Fennell wins for Promising Young Woman. That's yeah. pretty predictable. Um, no surprises. Easy win there. Adapted screenplay. We got nominations are um, Nomadland, One Night in Miami, Borat, The White Tiger, and um, The Father. So uh, My prediction was no, is Nomadland. I mean, that seems like the easy win here, but, I mean, the father won the BAFTA, so that's the only thing that I think could um, come in and sweep here. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, but, yeah, I'm assuming Nomadland, but let's see, let's see who wins here. I'm seeing the award speech right now. Just oh, let me know when you know the father wins. won. Hey, yeah, the, the father, father won? wins. The father. Damn. And Florian Took Zeller screenplay. is that's, his... uh, that's big. I mean, that is big. I think because I think it makes sense. The, but now, I mean, Nomadland doesn't get the screenplay nom. Will it get director? That's true. Like, will it get picture? Like, oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, if the, I think if the they're father, giving it to the father. The father has a much more like screenplay type of film, where Nomadland yeah. feels a lot more like Nomadland just, feels very authentic. And we're on we're on international feature film. Okay, I just got out of commercials. Got a nice Kay. shot of the theater. Laura Dern is walking on stage. What the hell is she wearing? Uh, honestly, I I personally really liked Quo Vadis Ida. Mm -hmm. uh, watch that. And I think it may be... I mean, it's just not going to win. Like, another round is a shoe-in. I'd say it's. I mean, this is one of the most guaranteed categories there is tonight. Yeah, another round... I mean, another round was my third favorite film of the year. I loved this movie, so I really liked it to too. I it watched win. it a few weeks ago, and it yeah. luckily didn't get too many nominations. Another round, another takes the dub. Best supporting actor time. Here we go. I think that if Daniel Kaluuya doesn't win, it's it should be Paul Racy. Yeah, I or mean, I'm Lakeith secretly. Stanfield. I would secretly love it for Paul Racy to win. Yeah, me too. Daniel Kaluuya is the clear Damn, deserving holy. winner Look here. Look at Lakeith Stanfield's haircut. What the hell happened? Oh, here, here we, we go. go. Paul, Paul Racy. Racy. Yes, sir. The man who isn't even Ooh. an actor. Yeah, exactly. It's like a, a guitar player. You go follow Paul Racy on Instagram. He's only got like... <laughs> 1800 a thousand followers. followers yeah <laughs> daniel kaluuya there we go i mean kind of obvious he's won coming. everything so far and it's very much deserving oh yeah it's a brilliant performance truly great performance sad that it doesn't get to go to my boy paul racy but he deserves the <laughs> oscar i'm excited to he see does. what he does next It's makeup and hairstyling. <laughs> makeup and hairstyling. Okay. 
We got Emma. Um, I haven't seen Emma, but I mean, yeah, it's a very like makeup and hairstyling. Big... It's got to be Ma Rainey. Yeah, I mean, Ma Rainey had some insane makeup and hairstyling. I mean, Hillbilly Elegy. I yeah. Did you see Hillbilly, Hillbilly Elegy? Elegy is... No, but like Amy Adams and Glenn Close in it are pretty um, unrecognizable. Yeah. The director. Yeah. Ma Rainey's Black a, Bottom. I think you're ahead of me again. Am I? Oh, wait, no. Damn. Did Ma Rainey just get... Yeah, Ma Mank, Rainey's like, Black Bottom. just came up. Oh. Yeah. Definitely ahead of me. I mean, I don't really care. I already knew Ma Rainey's was going to win. That one's just a shoe in Nice. Well, yeah. I thought that was the clear winner here. Viola Davis is, like... Insane. Just looks great. Insane. Yeah. I mean, this was an easy win. Damn, Carrie Mulligan's got a big dress on. Where's Carrie Mulligan? Oh, the, oh, wow. Damn. She went all out. Okay, so now we got costume design. Yeah. I mean, th I think this is also Ma Rainey. Um, I think this has to be Ma Rainey also. But you know... I, I honestly really loved the costumes in Mank. Yeah. I think it I was totally honestly agree. one of the strongest parts. <laughs> Mank Mank just really had a nice aesthetic to it, if anything. Yeah. I like I honestly like the cinematography in Mank. Hey, there we Ma'rini. go. I mean Anne Roth. Yeah. That's what I predicted. Maureen's black bottom. Is she taking costume design? Someone's taking it on her behalf, it looks like. She's too gangster yeah. to even show up. Well, uh, let's see here. What's going to be up next? Where are we predicting is up next? Parasite. Parasite. I heard that Bong Joon-ho is going to be presenting an award tonight. Nice. Here he is. Direct. We're already on director? Yeah, here we go, I guess, before we even get to the shorts. Ha what? Whoa. Director's usually, like, second to last. She's oh, that was like, big. Parasite win. I I was betting on 1917 last year. I really thought that was gonna win, but I was so hyped. I mean, when best director. Once he once he won director, I was like, oh yeah, Parasite's gonna win picture. You thought 1917 was gonna win best picture? Yeah, cause it won the Golden Globe and it won the Critics' Choice. I thought it was gonna be like. I honestly don't know. I didn't want 1917 to win. I just thought. Because of like the other awards it won. It's cool. It's cool, but it's not best pitch. Parasite's way more best pitch. Oh, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, we got... Okay, we got Vinterberg, Lee Isaac Chung. Now we're on Chloe Zhao. Yeah. Tussling Francis I mean, yeah. McDormand's Also, hair. Chloe Zhao, though. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's true. Lee Isaac Chung had the kids. But Chloe Zhao also had people who weren't actors. Like, most of the cast. Yeah. Emerald, Emerald Fennel. Fennel. Bo Burnham actually gave a nice performance. I love Bo Burnham. <laughs> Me too. Such He's a so funny, funny guy. David Fincher. Fincher uh, giving that dude, good I really wish Mank was better than it was. Because I yeah. love Fincher so much. Okay, who's taking it? I think we're thinking Chloe Zhao. Yep. Chloe Zhao. Chloe Zhao. I mean, was there I really going to be anyone else? Yeah, first Asian there woman. There you go. She, to win. she uh, swept it all. She won every single major awards this year. Um, that hasn't been done for a really long time. First Asian woman. Second woman ever. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's awesome. Doom, 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 doom. Riz, Riz Ahmed. Ahmed. What a beauty. Oh, he's doing sound design? Yeah, I think so. Greyhound is uh, first nomination. I mean, Greyhound's a war film, so that makes sense. Mank, I don't know yeah. why Mank's nominated for sound. There's nothing. They ran out of people to Mank. nominate. News of the World, also not great. I mean, there's a couple gun fights, but not really that interesting soul, soul is okay soul soul has good potential. sound soul has a 
some really interesting soundscapes. And then we got Sound of Metal, which I mean, clear winner here. Clear winner. It better win. Sound of metal. There we go. Beautiful. You can tell by his it face. Gets an Oscar. Gets an Oscar. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. I mean, it's an obvious winner. The sound. They're so is hyped. That's kind of amazing. Cute. <laughs> Let's go. Genius Loki. Haven't even heard of this one. Ruth Reese Witherspoon has now imitated. Travis Bickle. Oh, this is animated short film. It's animated short. I Bruh. think she's doing both the animated categories. Oh. What did I predict for animated short? I predicted... Oh, yeah. This is easy. If anything happens, I love you. That's yeah. clear yeah. winner here. I mean, I'd be surprised if something else won. I did, I did not see it, but I also predicted that. You should. It's only like six minutes. <laughs> Just watch it. What's winning? Yeah. If anything happens, I love you. Yeah. There it is. Very. It had easy. lots of hype. Also, yeah. just like added benefit that was on Netflix, so a lot of people got to watch it. Best animated. Nominees. We got Onward. Chris Pratt and Tom Holland. Spider-Man and Star-Lord. God, it's so weird he hearing his voice. I just picture Tom Holland. Yeah. They kind of look like Chris Pratt and Tom yeah, Holland. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sean the Sheep. Let's go. Armageddon. Please. Please. <laughs> Sean the Sheep movie. <laughs> it's actually cool st stop motion, though. <laughs> Are they in a spaceship right now? Bro, what is happening? Yeah. Soul. Shun the Sheep movie, though. It better win. Bro, Soul was, like, just such a interesting film, honestly. Just smart. Wolfwalkers. Wolfwalkers. Man, is this, too, is this hand drawn? Yeah. Here we drawn. Here we go. Soul. Come on. Soul, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sean the Sheep did not win, but I think Soul yeah, is deserving Yeah, so basically here. the Oscars are rigged, and as you can see, the big <laughs> corporations like Disney just buy their way to Oscars. <laughs> Soul was clearly the worst movie of the two in terms of political <laughs> message. Oh, wait, I got this right. I picked Colette. Oh, yeah, I've literally, I've got everything go. right so far, except adapted screenplay. Documentary feature. Come on, time. We got Collective. Um, I mean, Collective could win here because it did get nominated for Best International Film. So, yeah. you know, there is that. My Octopus Teacher, this is what I predicted. It's on Netflix. Should I watch it? Is it yeah. good? Yeah. I didn't watch it. Oh. <laughs> My that's, octopus that's... teacher. I got it. Steven Yeun. Oh, yeah. I think I think I predicted the Midnight Sky for this category. Visual effects? Yeah. Bro, I can't see Tenet not winning this, though. I mean, bro, the Midnight Sky had some cool stuff. Mulan, the one and only Ivan. Yeah, but Tenet with all the like cars going oh, yeah. backwards and stuff. I know, like... Who's winning? Tenet! Tenet takes it. Oh, here we oh, go. There's Braddy. Braddy Pitt. Oh, I don't like the stash, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got... Supporting actress Yoo Jung Yoon gave a flurry wave to Brad Pitt. Amanda Seyfried for Mank. Maria Bakalova. Maria Bakalova Borat. I predicted Yoo Jung Yoon. 
Bro, she's terrified that Brad Pitt is <laughs> talking about her. Olivia Coleman, the father. And we got Glenn Close, who still has never won an Oscar. Yeah. If only she picked a better movie to be in this year. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. We got Yu Jung Yoon. Let's there go. we go. Let's go. Production design. This one's going to be Mank. No question. Yeah, Mank is production design was crazy. Mank has got a um, award. Hasn't had any awards yet, right? Okay, so we got production. We got Tenet. Honestly, I would prefer Tenet to win just because I think I really like the production design for Tenet. Same. But we have Tenet, Mank, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Ma Rainey um, did have Which actually good, did have pretty good production, production design. design. Yeah, the studio. That whole street was a set. Yeah. The father. The father. Honestly? I mean, from what I've heard, the father sounds pretty cool. News and then of the news world. of the world. Hopefully yeah, not. Yeah, whatever. Production design is fine. It's actually pretty good. I just but, I don't want it to um, get any recognition, bro. Yeah, I don't want it to get a little stamp saying it got it won an Oscar. Yeah. Mank. Yeah. Mank. It deserves. I mean, it. it deserves it. It recreated 1930s, 40s Hollywood really well. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we got Juice and the Black Messiah. Mank. Mank actually did have some pretty cool shots, like that long tracking shot. News of the world, whatever. Nomadland, um, which I'm predicting. I'm predicting Judas. I'm hoping. I'm praying. Trial of Chicago 7. I didn't think the cinematography was that crazy in Trial. No. Come on. Come I would on. rather Minari. Ah! Uh, oh, no! Are you kidding me? It's interesting. Interesting. I honestly would have preferred Nomad boring... Land or Judas to Mink. That's such a boring pick. Nomad Land would have been such a more like fun. Just like the fact that they would have chosen an indie film for cinematography. I think it's editing. Must be. <laughs> Those are editing notes. Well, now I'm worried that Trial might win here after giving Mank best uh, cinematography. Yeah, I'm just really hoping that Sound of Metal takes home the dub over Trial. Yeah. Let's see be... what's winning. Sound Ooh, of Metal! Let's go. Took the editing. There yes, we go. Sir. Man, Trial is getting just shut out i don't even know what it can win at this point probably nothing. yeah trials gain i don't think trials gonna win anything nothing because it, it doesn't have anybody for actress or actor no directing nom it's not gonna win best picture well maybe yeah nah unless they Sound pull like a metal. moonlight you know where moonlight like doesn't win anything doesn't win anything and then picture. wins picture yeah that's true I want something. I want something crazy to happen, even though I'm not expecting anything that crazy. Give like score to the five bloods or something. <laughs> Can you imagine? Nah, I, it's either going to Soul or probably News of the World. Honestly, even though I think Minari should win. Minari's my favorite score, without a doubt. Yeah. Or maybe give Best Actor to like Gary Oldman or Steven Yeun, just to spice it up. Bro, please don't give it to Gary Oldman. <laughs> please don't give it to Gary Oldman. I meant Stephen Young. Yeah, honestly, Stephen I'm kind of okay. hoping something crazy happens with Picture. I know you love Nomadland, but personally, there's a few films I'd rather win than Nomadland. I yeah, mean, I would but I rewatched Nomadland and was like, it's good. I don't understand why The Five Bloods. Its only love was for your score. Because it doesn't even. Okay, I we got even score. The score. The Five. Bloods, Minari, Sound, uh, News of the World, and Mank and Soul. I personally think it's between Soul and Mank, but I think it's Soul. 
Whoa! Mank won! No, no, Soul won. The same people are nominated. Trent Reznor is nominated for both. Oh, oh, that's why. Because he, he's nominated for Mank and Soul. Yeah, Soul won. It's Soul? Yeah. I would have uh, liked to see Minari, though. I mean, last year, Joker won score, which I was really happy about because I loved the score for Joker. Um, yes. And then, you know, Shape of Water. I don't know what won in 2018. Black Panther, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it was Black Panther. Okay, I'm assuming we're getting original song now. Yep. And uh, I want the Judas easy to win. prediction. But I think it's going to be. I didn't like the man. Judas song, honestly. I didn't like the I Judas song. I didn't like song. any of the songs, honestly. <laughs> this one. Fight for you. Yeah. Nah, dude, I don't like this song. I like her, though. She's a good artist. Not an R&B kind of guy. No. Husevic! Honestly, it's a decent song. I, dude, I just don't... <laughs> I don't like that this is a category at the Oscars. It'd just be funny to see a Will Ferrell movie win an Oscar. Ah. Let's go! <laughs> Damn! Really? Judas getting another dub. I would have given it to anyone else. <laughs> I'm hyped to get through the, uh, I want to get through this actress and actor and see what's going to win best picture. I feel like they're going to do something crazy. I don't know why. I just have a gut feeling that this Oscars has been too normal. You know, like, I feel like, I feel like they got to do something crazy and upset. Yeah. Cause I, 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 think I mean, Fight for You winning was a bit of an upset there. Okay, I think uh, Speak Now was the... Yeah, like that's true. And you, I'm talking upset in like a major category. And the thing is, is I don't think they're going to... I don't think they're going to snub Chadwick Boseman because that would be disrespectful as hell. Like, and I'm It would be. And in terms of actress, like I think anybody winning is pretty much... It can't, you can't really get snubbed in that category because you don't know who's going to win. Except Vanessa Kirby. If Vanessa Kirby wins, that would be yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah, Pitcher's the only one where something crazy could happen, but I just I don't think anything's going to happen. I, I, I think, I think Nomadland, Nomadland is... Yeah. I think that's our best picture. I don't know if any other film this year I feel is like... I don't know. I just can't see them like years from now being like, yeah, that was best picture. Kind of like know. Green Book, you know? I Where feel like, like if they gave it to like Judas or Promising Young Woman, you'd look back and you'd be like, yeah, that was good. Like that was good enough. I, I feel like if yeah. they give it to Judas or Promising Young Woman or Trial, I wouldn't be like mad. I wouldn't think that. Like I, I think that the I'd be gap, mad about trial. I think yeah, I would be mad about trial too. I think the gap in like goodness between Nomadland and everything else isn't that big. Yeah, but it's not about like the goodness. It's just like the, I don't know, just the overall like vibe from the film. Mm -hmm. oh. We're doing best picture before actress and actor. What? What? Why? That that doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Because I guess actors are more important than the movie. I don't know. <laughs> this just seems... <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Also, it doesn't make sense that director is one of the first categories. Everything's out of whack. Okay, best picture. We got The Father. Juice and the Black Messiah. Yes, sir. Great scene. Mank. Nomadland. Dude, look at that shot, though. I, I, I don't know. 
Cinematography is subtle, but I just love it. Yeah. The natural lighting. I just, uh, to me, that shot is just, you could just spice it up a bit. Like, I thought, I don't know. How? I like the natural lighting, but I think that it might be a bit too low-key to win a Best Cinematography Oscar. Because, I mean, when it's not a sunset yeah, shot... Yeah, that's why I wanted it to be. I wish Promising Young Woman got production design and costumes. I just, I really like the costumes in this film. Yeah. I know they're, like, modern, but the colors are so prominent. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got Sound of Metal. Hell yeah. Trial of Chicago 7. Man, Sound of Metal's so good. Oh my okay, god. Okay, best picture. Oh my god. Nomadland. There it is. Yeah. There it is. I uh, wasn't really expecting anything else. Yeah, no. I, it is a very obvious choice. It's so weird that they did this first. Yeah, I still don't understand why this is before actress and actor. I think this might be one of the lowest budget films to win Best Picture. Yeah, Rocky. Uh, Rocky and um, Moonlight, I think. It looks like a bunch of people are saying that the only reason they wouldn't end with best picture is to do a tribute to Chadwick Boseman at the very end and do best actor last. I mean which kind of makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Best actress, here we go. Oh. Oh god. Never mind. It's Renee Zellweger. Oh, it's, it's... Okay, best actress, Viola Davis. Yep. Andra Day. You're like United two States seconds ahead of me. And Carrie Mulligan. Mm. Francis McDormand. Nice. Damn. That's her third Oscar. She's in the thir three Oscar uh, club. Yeah. I thought she gave a really good it. performance. Damn, 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 damn. I switched her spot in second with Viola Davis. Ugh. That was stupid. Fail. I should have stuck with my gut. And thanks for this. Oh, nice and short. Yep. There you go. Well, Francis Mc... That's a bit of a surprise there. Um, Because the only thing she had won was the BAFTA heading into this. I yeah. really thought it was going to be Carrie Mulligan. Oh, here comes Joaquin. I'm okay with that, though. Okay, there's Joaquin. Is he going to be awkward as usual? Anthony. It has to be Chadwick. Anthony Hopkins, the father, Riz Ahmed, Sound of Metal. It has to be Chadwick. Chadwick. Chadwick Boseman, Ma Rainey's. Gary Oldman from Mank. It literally has to be Chadwick Boseman. If it's not Chadwick... And uh, Steven Yeun, Minari. Yeah, I mean... I feel like if I was the actor who won over Chadwick, I'd be... Anthony Hopkins won. Yikes. He beat Chadwick. There it is. Well, uh... Okay. Yeah. I don't know why they did picture first. I mean, uh, I just feel like they should have given it to Chadwick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I, I, I think their the performances movie. were their performances were just as good, but it would have been nice to give it to him. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you for listening to our Oscars special episode. Uh, nothing really crazy that we had to comment on, but. Yeah, we will see mm -hmm. you guys next week for our review of Guillermo del Toro's The Shape of Water. Thanks for listening.
Thank you for listening to Slightly Qualified Film Students. Make sure to tune in next week for a new film discussion and review. Our theme song is Slightly Sexy by Thompson Springs. Make sure to subscribe and leave us a like. Send us feedback and comments as well as your thoughts on the film. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at S underscore Q underscore F underscore S. If you would like to send us a question or a comment for next week's episode, you can email us at sqfilmstudents at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you all next week. Bye.